Brickle and Digby, the two traveling dogs, are in a state famous for potatoes. And whether you say potato or potato, you have to say that this is the Idaho Spuds edition of Stop Hounding Me. Oh! Now, here with us, we have the three contestants that are going to try to mash our half-baked canine and feline questions. And they are... Oh, oh, Bobette. Mr. Bobette. And Deb. Please say your name again. Bobette. Harrington. Harrington. Very, yes. very good. And you guys are with? Four Paws Pet Adoption here in Regular. That's awesome. And you hear Digby in the background. Uh, he's not up for adoption. Well, before we get started, we have to ask you, do you think after facing our canine questions that you're going to be celebrating a victory like Spuds McKenzie? Or will your potato of hopes and dreams be French fried? Oh, we're going to be winners. We'll be on top. Celebrating. Yes. Like yes. Spuds <laughs> I think so as well because uh, just like a potato on Stop Holding Me, uh, there's no wrong way to serve up answers. So great now to show that you're ready. On the count of three, let's get a great big hound dog howl. One, two, three. Oh, 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 oh. All right, well, let's get started with the very first question that we have as Digby, he wants to answer questions. Well, one thing that we want to talk about is being a couch potato. We're here in the land of potatoes. And of course, dogs and cats love being couch potatoes. Cats, in your case especially, love being couch cats, I guess. Demonstrate how your cats actually get into their couch potato positions, please. Go. That's what I was gonna do. They just kind of <laughs> Is it? Hey, can I ask a question? Oh. Is, is this a, <laughs> that, Do you know what this is? This is a bobcat. <laughs> it's an extra bobcat. All right, all right. We, we have some more show to do, Bob. Come on. Great, great job. Now, the second question is in reference to how crazy people are about potatoes. People are crazy about potatoes. Is there something that your cats are crazy? Crazy for that makes them crazy. Maybe a treat, maybe a toy. Catnip kickers, kickers, kick over. Oh, <laughs> well, we were, please demonstrate more how crazy your cats get. Go ahead. <laughs> you know, I think you have on some like cat. Wow, that is crazy. That is crazy. But you know, that is perfect. That is perfect. 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 That's awesome. The last thing that we have for you is we have actually a challenge for you. You each have a potato and we would like for you to place that potato on your head. Now, we would like for you to have a race and while you're running with this potato on your head, we would like for you to be making cat and or dog sound. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Well, you guys are incredibly awesome. It shows how wonderful people are who are involved with your organization. And you guys have won this episode of Stop Hounding Me. If on the count of three, you guys howl with me. One, two, three. Again, wonderful, wonderful job. And if I can somehow speak over the voice of Digby over there, I'm gonna tell you what you guys have won. You guys, first of all, have won some Four Legger. Four Legger is organic dog shampoo, wonderful shampoo. We also have some Bowser beer. Bowser beer is a wonderful non-alcoholic treat for the dogs under your care. And then as well, we have a beautiful book called The Endless Path about a dog's journey through life with its person. And then we have something called the squeak and snap. This plugs into the phone and when it makes the squeak, it takes perfect pictures. We have 
$225 worth of gift certificates from the Biscuit Barbary of Northern Colorado. Beautiful treats for you to use for the animals under your care. So we want to thank our sponsors so, so much. And we also want to thank you guys so, so much for all that you're doing. Now, you started this rescue quite some time ago, Bobette. Tell us why you felt the need to start it. In 2002, we went to the Rexburg City Animal Shelter, and that was something I was always told never to enter by my family and my husband because I'd be home with all the animals. I said, no, I won't. We were helping some ladies get dogs out for adoption, and what I saw there I couldn't live with. They were euthanizing 90% of the animals at that point in time, and we decided we wanted to make a difference to get a new shelter, and we would turn the adoption rate around. First year, it was the opposite. We adopted 90%, 10% euthanasia. Wow, that's incredible. It shows how quickly a difference can be made by putting forth that effort. Now, this is a wonderful, wonderful place. You guys are just for cats at this facility. Cats can roam freely. Normally, they're not harassed by dogs, but we have Digby with us, and he is harassing the cats. Um, but normally, this is just for the cats. You guys also help dogs. You put those in foster homes until they find their regular home. But the wonderful thing about this place, it's not only helping animals, it also helps people. Please tell us about that. Absolutely. There are many people with uh, mental illness and uh, there is not a lot known about it, but they do find that animal therapy is a great healer. We have a lot of students from the university that come just for pet therapy. And I also have some volunteers that have been coming for some time for pet therapy. Um, some of them five, six years and longer. Oh wow, that's incredible. It really shows the wonderful effect animals can have on people and the good effect that people can have on animals in need. Well, we want to remind everyone that all this week, the animals that are under their care have been featured on the Two Traveling Dogs website and the Two Traveling Dogs Facebook page. We want to also encourage everyone to continue to keep checking back with their website and their Facebook page. We want to remind everyone, as Brickle and Digby tell me every day, I think that's what Digby was saying just a few minutes ago, please make rescues the breed of choice. And I think the potato hat can really be the next fashion statement of this decade. What do you think? I yes. Agree. yes, 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 I, I think so. Well, all we can say to end this beautiful Idaho Spuds edition of Stop Hounding Me is to how. Please run on in here. Run on in here. We've got to do the how. You can make it. You're a running cat. You're a running cat. On the count of three. One, two, three. Oh! 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 Oh!